Today I am playing with a giant cog. Don't worry, you didn't accidentally click onto the hub. We are playing a indie horror game called Chicken Feet, where I would literally be chased by a chicken today. If you do end up liking this video, just leave it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. It'll help me out tremendously and you'll get to see more games like this. But if you're ready to dive into it, grab a snack, grab a cat, throw it on your lap, and plug in some headphones, and let's dive right in. <laughs> I'm excited. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the most sophisticated, beautiful, and intricate science facilities in the entire world. I'll be your guide today. You can call me Sergeant Corey. I can't actually tell you what my real name is for confidential reasons, but I always thought Corey was a nice name. Uh, anyway, we've got a lot of work to do. I'm sure you've already been informed. A giant chicken? Lots of death? Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty bad problem. But I have faith in us. We're gonna make a great team. I'm tracking your location, so I'll always know where you are. I don't trust him. I'm here to help. Now, enjoy the glamour while you still can. You'll be heading deep into this facility, and I promise you, this is the best that it'll look. Okay, we're at the Goober Research Visitor Center. Goofy Goober Research Center. All right, our first destination is actually below us. So, uh, find a way to get there. Maybe through a vent? Good luck. Okay. Objective, use a vent to reach the next area. Do I have a flashlight? No flashlight! That always sucks. I can't really even see anything. Oh. Oh, here we go. Vent! Well, that was easy. Oh, requires a screwdriver. Okay. I guess we'll go search around for a screwdriver. Oh. And here we go. I don't trust Corey. I don't know why. The fact that he kept saying over and over again, we're gonna be a team, I'm here to help you, you can trust me. I'm like, mm, you're you're overdoing it a little bit. Also, I wonder if the chicken can come in the vents, because... Hey, I just wanna tell you, you gotta be very careful here. You really shouldn't underestimate this thing. If you do see the chicken, just run. What? Try to hide somewhere where he can't reach you. I guess I have to go down. Oh. Okay. I don't underestimate him. I really don't. Ooh. Okay, the music just got very intense. I'm a little bit worried. That's a door. I need a flashlight. What was that? Well, you saw it? Uh, be very careful. Make sure you don't let it catch you. Obviously. Okay. Um, listen. I know this might seem annoying, but there are three levers down here that you'll need to pull. They'll open the door that's going to let you proceed. Now, I understand how redundant that may seem, but it's all in the name of security. All right, good luck. I'll talk to you soon. Be careful down there. How does it make it more secure to have three levers separated? Obviously, if I want to get in, I'm going to get in. Okay, here's a lever right here. What? There's a vent over here. I 
feel like he's coming, but I'm not sure. <gasps> oh my gosh. He's literally right there. All right, I gotta find the other switch. We okay. just moved Sebastian into the red cell while work continues downstairs. I know he isn't really a human, but the things they do to him. The things they do to him are horrible, is what it said. He's got no friends, no freedoms. I honestly don't know why Eric is doing all of this to him. At least he has an education. But even then, <laughs> I think it's just for the sake of testing. So what if he's genetically modified? A human's a human, right? What? First of all... Okay, so we know his name is Sebastian. That's so cute. Not little Sebastian, but big Sebastian. And he's an educated chicken. Oh, here's another switch. Oh, wait, can I get in these? Oh, okay. I might have to hide in there. I think he knows when I click it on. No? Oh. <gasps> Sebastian, you're so cute. Why do I want to pet you? You're literally adorable. I'm sorry, but you really are. Even though you could kill me. I heard somebody say that chickens like naturally would peck you to death, but because they're so small, they can't really kill you. But their size is the only thing that stops them from actually killing a human. <laughs> Which is, I guess now we know. Also, it's weird how the guy said in the recording, a human's a human, or like human rights or something. It's like, makes me think that maybe they changed a human in, like Sebastian was a human at one point or something. Okay, I gotta find this last lever. I don't think I've been through here. Have I been through here? Oh. Hey, hey, I found a key. So I just gotta find the last lever now. Or I gotta find a door to open. Oh no! Sebastian, I'm sorry! Shit. Please don't see me. Is he coming? I don't know. Oh. I think there was a door over here. That's not it. This is back where I started over here. I'm guessing the last door that I need, there he is, has the key in it. Or has the switch, sorry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, that was more intense than I thought. Now that we've died once, I feel like I'm less scared of it now. Because I kind of know what to expect. Oh, I have to start over. Okay. So. 
We'll do the first one. Run and do this. Oh, I bet it's that door that it opens. Yeah. I just gotta find the key now. No! Oh my gosh, he's so fast! Sebastian, you are so fast. Holy crap. I wonder if he could see me when he... He does, he... So he looks behind and he looks to his side apparently. So that's good to know. Wish I could like throw him a distraction or something. I gotta get that key. Shoot, I don't remember where it's at though. turns a corner. Are you kidding me? Damn, Sebastian, he is like so fast. Maybe I should look for the key first and then click the first switch. Oh, the key is right here. Okay, so it's literally right around the corner from the vent. Okay, I'm actually gonna grab that first. Then do this one. That way, now I have the key. I'll run and do the second one. Now we just gotta find, the door is, the door is literally right across, um, right next to the first vent, I'm pretty sure. If it's the door that is right, I'm not sure. Hi buddy! Or if I can book it. Oh, I made it. Oh shit, where's the door? Where's the door? Now I can't remember where it's at. Oh, there it is. Yes! There it is. Oh, there's a bed. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Okay, I got through some. Oh! <laughs> okay, I think I gotta make it to that exit door that had the lights. With the three lights. But I'm not sure where that's at. Oh my gosh, I made it. <laughs> I don't know how I made it, but... Cooper. All right, you made it. Nice job. Thanks. We're getting closer. Just keep going. Closer to what?
Is this Sebastian's house? Oh, here's another audio recording. This is Mrs. Lawrence, Sebastian's new teacher. Aww. I am here with a progress report. He's coming along very nicely. He's improving <gasps> in practically every way. Reading, reading, <laughs> writing, and speaking. Wow. I do have one concern. He seems to have scars on his body. I don't mention this in an accusatory way. What happens when I'm not here isn't any of my business. I just thought I would bring it up in case they were self-inflicted. <gasps> I'll be back next week. Sebastian self-harming. No. <laughs> what? Sebastian. Why do I feel so bad for him now? It's going to be okay, buddy. Okay, so there's a platform here. And then I already... Okay, so I think that's my only option, actually. Why is that so sad? Oh, okay, cool. It's timed. Oh, we're going lower. Oh, I cannot see anything. Oh, wait. What is all this? Mm, I'm sure he's gonna chase us in here. A lot of hiding spots. According to my map, the exit to this area is locked and it can't be opened from your current location. Looks like you'll need to get up there where that blue light is. There should be an elevator system that can help you. Find a way to reach the blue light. I mean, it's not this one. I'm, oh, I'm guessing that's for this. Yeah, okay. Oh, there's a button over there. button over here too uh oh there's lots of places to hide in here that that has me a little worried I'm not gonna lie place in here too okay that's not good <laughs> Oh, that's for this door, I'm guessing. Okay. Well, there's a button back here, too. Find a pipe and use it to fix the elevator system. Oh! I'm missing three pipes. Okay. Another hiding spot back here. It's a little dark. <gasps> Chip. All right, it has begun. Oh, he's walking away. Yikes, okay. 
He's so fast. gracious. So I do need to look for the pipes to fix the elevator. To get up there. Oh wait, can I climb? No, probably not. Okay. Wow, if you're so smart, Sebastian, why don't you just learn how to press a button? know how to press buttons, do you? Dumbass. Oh, there's a little entrance here, too. Okay, I don't think he can get me in here. Okay. I didn't really look very thoroughly in the other barn, the one to my left. So, I'm gonna wait till he goes across here, and then I'm gonna go into the barn. Hopefully. It's the plan at least. Who knows? Oh my gosh. I mean, he can definitely see me, but he can't get in here. Too fat. He's so cute. <laughs> Why do I feel bad for him? Especially if he's self-harming. What is that about? Okay. Pipes. I'm sure they'll be flashing. So I can sort of see them. Pipe, pipe, pipes. Shit. Oh, fuck. Go, go, go. Ah. Damn. This game is like a hundred percent stealth. I mean, you, you can't, you can't really outrun him. Like, there's no weapons. You can't kill him, so. I want to go to sleep and you're, like, right on you. Because <laughs> you look so soft. No, but literally I have heard that, that, like, if chickens were bigger, they would kill humans. Because they... Maybe somebody who knows more about chickens can can weigh on this, but, like, they don't really feel, like, empathy or, like, the way, like, some animals can. And, like, obviously humans can. So they, like, if they were bigger, they literally would kill you. <laughs> Which... Honestly... <laughs> honestly, why shouldn't they? All we do is, like misuse them and take their eggs. I don't even blame them. I had that one coming to me. After I upload this video, I will probably watch other people play this game, and I'm curious to see if anybody else has had trouble with it. Because I haven't looked at anybody's playthrough on this. Um, I saw a thumbnail for it. Uh, Outer Middle Show had posted that he had played it. But, um... Fuck! Why did I do that? Oh! Oh my gosh. Maybe I can just hide right here. Because I think he just goes straight down the hallway. He doesn't come this way. Oh! 
That actually worked. That actually worked. Okay. Pipes. I'm looking. <gasps> Pipes. Find a pipe and use it to fix it. Okay. Okay, that was easy. Okay, I'm gonna hide in here for now. See where he comes out of. The question is, where's the button? Like, once I fix it and get on that platform right in front of the barn, where's the button to be lifted up? Like, I don't see it anywhere. Fine, use the elevator system. Go! Dang it, I thought that button was for it. Shoot, okay. Is this the button for it? <laughs> they got too com cocky there. Okay. Is this is this the button for it though? I'm not sure. I clicked it and it didn't it didn't raise it up in the air. I don't see another button, so I'm pretty sure that is the right one. Plus I'm fixing that exact piece, so that would make sense. I just gotta... the timing. I have to get the timing right. If I can wait till he's across... What? Bruh, I could not seem to get away from him. He knows I'm about to click that button. Oh shit. Oh, I did it. <gasps> oh my gosh, I did it. Wow. And he had no idea. Ha! Huh. You dumb chicken. Huh. Ah, oh, that was. Oh no, I'm not even turning around. Go, 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 go. Ah! I did not even flip around for that. <laughs> okay. Did I die? Oh. You aren't who I thought you were. But that doesn't mean you're different. Sebastian? What exactly are your intentions? <gasps> Look at him. He can talk. Are you, are you looking for a way out? Or are you here to hurt me? No, I'm not here to hurt you. I promise. I don't even know you why I'm here. You hurt me. <laughs> right? Mm -mm. <laughs> I want you to stay away. And I really don't think you understand what's going on here. I was able to break free and escape. None of you humans were strong enough to stop me. Others weren't so lucky. They weren't strong enough. But I saved them. And I killed everyone that got in my way. And I won't stop at you. But for now, I'll give you a chance. Just open that door, and I'll give you your freedom. Now, promise me that you'll leave. Got that? Okay. Never come back. Okay. 
What do I feel like this is a trap? <laughs> What are you doing? Don't kill yourself yet. Uh, I mean, uh, wait, wait a minute. How, how did you get here? From where you were, it should be impossible to. This is really strange. Y you shouldn't be down here. We could work with this. Just hang tight. Oh, and if you find any sort of tape recorder, uh. please. Do not play it. What? There's a lot of confidential information you down here. You know I'm going to play it. You know I'm going to. What the heck? That was so weird. Okay, so... Why do I feel like Sebastian's like actually running this whole thing? Because he was like, you don't really know what's going on down here. Weird, I don't know. Here's a door. Wow, there's a lot of places to go here. Okay, another little thingy. I have to elevator. Let's go. Let's go down here. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Whoa. Oh, look at the baby. What? This is so sad. This is Eric's audio journal, day 561. Today marks the 20th anniversary of Sebastian's birth, the product of Project Rebirth, the world's first genetically modified human. What? It can read, write, and even speak. It's incredible. The pinnacle of our discoveries. We still haven't revealed it to the public. We have to wait. The more tests we can do, the better chances we have of improving it. We just need more testing. But it isn't perfect. It... it isn't. And we will reattempt Project Rebirth within the next five years. I don't care what the executives say. I don't care what the doctors say. I don't care what the mother says. We will get this right. Okay. I'm confused. Why would you need to genetically modify a human? And then, then I don't understand how the chicken comes into play. Like you modified it to become a chicken? Why would you want to do that? <laughs> I'm not really sure. I'm starting to try and piece this together, but I feel a little confused. Oh, here's the, uh, oh, I'm sure I have to click this and then run over there. So. Yay! Okay. Oh. Oh, jeez. scare you. You and I, we are not different. My name is Sebastian. Ah. That's what they've always called me. You. I've been following you. I've been listening. I know that you don't work here. You are oblivious to what's really going on. I've heard your radio. That voice. I know him. He's not who you think he is. Eric. His name is Eric. Yeah. 
He created this place. He's the one that has caused us this pain. Eric is evil. He is a monster. And he wants to cause more pain. I knew it. I didn't trust him. You and I. We can stop him. Otherwise, he is going to kill oh, us. There's a gun. Both of us. Eric's using you, and he'll kill you. You're a loose end. You've seen too much. And the chicken. He wants the chicken. That's why he sent you, right? The chicken's name is Cooper. <laughs> I doubt he told you that. When Cooper broke out, he saved me. I thought his name was Sebastian. And now, Eric wants to capture him again. He wants to cause more pain. I've got a plan. I'll save us. You just need to lure him down here. Just follow his instructions. Eric? I'll save you. Okay, he wants me to lure Eric down here. I think. Interesting. I'm a little confused, though, because... Okay, so I figured it out. This place has gas pipes running behind the walls. If we pump sleeping gas into the pipes, we can put the chicken to sleep without damaging it. And, of course, you would also fall asleep, but I'd just wake you up, plain and simple. Nah. At this point, that seems to be our only option. So, you'll need to let the gas into the pipes first, then you'll need to release the gas. Simple enough. If this is the last time we speak, before I wake you up, of course, mm. then I'll just say it's been a pleasure. Find a way to let the sleeping gas into the pipes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. There's a lot less hallways now, so that kind of worries me. So you're not- your name is- what do they call him? Caleb? So you're Caleb. Do not go down that hallway. I need to go down that hallway. Oh, this is where I was. Okay. <laughs> so you're not evil. You're just a giant chicken that they want to kill. I'm so confused. So we have the genetic mod genetically modified human, which is Sebastian, who we just met. I don't know why they're modifying him, though. And then they're teaching... But then they kept calling Seba the chicken Sebastian. I'm a little confused. Do not go down that hallway. Okay, I'm gonna go right. Oh, I can cut him off. Okay. Oh, Hi, guys. They're so cute. Oh, I can't go in there. Hi, guys. What? What was that? Oh, that was a trap. So he could know... What the heck?
What? Whoa, okay, this is kind of weird. Oh, okay, okay. Go back and release the sleeping gas. Okay. Caleb, you are a victim in all of this. I just want you to know. You're not the enemy. I think. I think. I don't really even know. Go, go, go. Oh, I can't go that way. Shit. This is the wrong... Oh no, this is right! Yes, yes, thank you, thank you! You have no idea how much this means for the lab. Oh. I had to do that though. I know they're trying to capture Caleb, but... I think I have to do that. Because I'm trying to lure him... Oh, because... <laughs> Thank you. He'll go grab Caleb. Uh, I, I never actually learned your name. Not that I needed to, <laughs> or even wanted to. You did well as an intern, and I'm sorry it had to end this way. Your sacrifice is in the name of science. What? Eric. Oh. How, how did you- It's over, Eric. It's over. Please. Don't. <laughs> Please. Whoa. You just shot Eric, I think. You were never worthy of forgiveness. And for you, I'm so sorry. <gasps> this world. Don't kill Caleb. Please. You. And you deserve. Or don't kill me. So <laughs> just more. you can kill me. Just don't kill Caleb. <laughs> no. You're safe. <gasps> so he did kill the chicken, but not me. I killed Eric. He's gone. He can't hurt us anymore. How do I know if I can even trust you? Cooper's also gone. Oh, Cooper, not Caleb. It's better this way. <laughs> Cooper. He was filled with too much pain and anger. He was never going to return to normal. He deserves peace. Oh, Cooper. For the first time ever, I am free. You and I, we share something special. Well, we are human. I am human. Okay. Let's calm down a little bit. <laughs> I. What? Put the gun down, please. I am human.
Did he kill himself? What? I think he was pointing the gun to his head at the very end. What the heck? Well, guys, there you have it. There's Chicken Feet. I really did not expect such a crazy story to be wrapped into this game about a chicken chasing you. Honestly, I thought it was great. I really wish there was more to the game, like a, like a full game. We kind of explore Sebastian's story and more of how I got involved in coming here to this, you know, lab. But overall, I really enjoyed it. All right, if you guys want to play Chicken Feet, it is on Steam. I'll leave the link down below for you. That's it for this one, though. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.